Hey everybody, I'm Heather. I'm Alan. And we are Say La V3. For those who might be new joining us, uh, welcome to the channel. We're an American family who is currently living in Spain and traveling around in our camper van. So today we want to talk about our second trip to Sentinel de las, de las Bodegas. Bodega, Bodega. I'm terrible at Spanish. They just call it the city under the rocks. known as the city under the rocks right um i just didn't want you guys thinking we were really bad at translating <laughs> <laughs> i interpret that to mean something from which winery or something like that and sentinel is just the name of a town yes but it was actually the name actually came from the wineries it used to be yeah. famous for the wineries this is like the smaller the quaint yeah. Which is, I feel like, kind of why we did this. I mean, it wasn't for the Madrids and the Barcelonas and all of those. It was for kind of the things that people don't know about, that we don't know about, and that we want to learn about, and the quaintness of it all. really enjoyed walking around and learning about the town and its history and just seeing everything firsthand and this was really our first kind of in-depth Spanish experience mm. um, aside from you know where we're currently living so that was nice to do. I would say the first thing you guys need to remember when you go to these small towns uh, we, we use Google Maps like we did last time uh, but we were able to find a couple of places to park and I usually try to find like more buses and some other stuff, um, pull in and park or try yeah. to trailer trucks. That's, that tends to be pretty helpful. There's two spots. I'll throw the GPSs in below. The first one is rather close to town. The, the van was just too big. We could not make it down these streets. No. We were able to find a couple spots along the road and we found one ultimately inside of a um, parking lot out on the outskirts of town and we just walked right in. If you know we're gonna use somebody's parking lot uh, we, we made an honest effort to make sure they knew that it was us that got out of the van and us that went inside and we we bought um, I think the B and I went and got some drinks and then a little snack and some other stuff just so they knew that we were patrons and we were not just freeloading. Yeah definitely. I don't even I mean I don't think I looked up like Google pictures um, which I guess was good because then it would have affected my awe factor. But I mean, we walked up and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Yeah. It was just something that I have never seen before. You know, for I was laughing for something that's called a city under the rocks. We walked uh, a lot upstairs. Up oh, right now. <laughs> There's a lot of stairs that we walked up. There really was. For, for getting to a place that was under rocks. Yeah, yeah. But it was so neat. I mean, just... To walk around and and then we went in some of the stores and the restaurants and all of those places um the ceilings and then the walls yeah. were part of the rock
and that was just so cool to see. Which I, I would imagine the Spanish heat in the summer was probably super helpful. As we were walking around, this was our first experience with the act of hiding in a doorway to avoid getting hit by a vehicle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it was truly, I feel, I, you know, there's things where I wish people would tell me about, and I think this was one of them because all of a sudden you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, like, where do you go? And into the doorway, thankfully, yeah. you know, you hope that it's somebody's house and it's closed, you know, because sometimes they like to leave their doors open and you don't just want to, you know, hop into their house. <laughs> nice to kind of go up and just get an, get a bird's eye view yeah. of, you know, all of the houses and kind of, I mean, it was oddly quiet. We were like the only ones walking around during the siesta time, so it's kind of neat to have the whole city to ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. I should mention that I learned the European way of walking very quickly. I have a feeling Alan's going to throw that clip in there of where I trip. <laughs> it's, but the, in Europe, you have, you have to take in the sights and look down at the same time because they do not have flat concrete roads <laughs> or sidewalks here. And you are going to lose your footing real quick if you don't pay attention. Uh, kudos to you. I think you took your fall pretty gracefully. I handled it gracefully. Between the, excuse me, between the the uh, air conditioners, yeah. you know, everything hangers, hangs over the street. So. <laughs> so Heather, I don't know how she managed it, but she'd always time. Every time one of the uh, air conditioners uh, would drip the condensation, you know, water off of it. And just that was a way to stay Always cool. hit her and she just, because uh, <laughs> you know, you're under these rocks and you could see those spiders. Oh, yeah. Do you remember looking up? And that you could, was creepy. I don't think I have good footage of it, but you could no. you look at the ceiling and it have certain ones that would just be like webs, webs, yeah. webs. And you're just like, oh, no, man. thank you. Those are, those are big webs. There go big spiders. Yeah. I thought it was interesting to see kind of the European way of expanding your family, the multi-generations mm -hmm. that live in one house, and then... You know, as they grow older and as the family gets bigger, they're making their house bigger. Yeah, but it was really neat to, yeah. to have that concept because that's nothing like that in the U.S. You, 18, you get out. Right? <laughs> get out of my house. <laughs> um, which <laughs> uh, B is turning into quite the, uh, the tour guide. He has a tendency to point out people's uh, underwear because... We are so used to uh, drying everything back in the States. Here, we're learning that there is, you get washing machines, but most most people don't have dryers. No, you got a clothes rack. And so you got a clothes <laughs> rack or a clothes line, and so you'll be walking through the town, and it's just, and he's just like, underwear. <laughs> I found someone's underpants, too. Look, I found someone's underpants right there. The one thing that I think that we were not used to either was kind of the Spanish way of child rearing. You know, he, in America, it's very much, you keep your kid within hand's distance or arm's reach, basically. Oh, yeah. And I mean, we just saw these kids just running down the town, yeah. heading to go get ice cream. And it's just so different than America. And then B, B got into the, um, the camera. Oh, yeah. to be the cameraman for a while. Yep, that's right. There's some rare footage of the two of us, <laughs> not filmed by the two of us. <laughs> Which I was surprised. It's so worse than not used to seeing that. It's either, I know, right? it's either you or me behind the camera and bees running around. It's potentially everywhere. Oh my God. What's he doing? Uh, 
there. Absolutely. So be one. He enjoys to, that though. He's really taking that knack. I mean, he's been taking pictures and he's been taking videos. It's it was still scorching hot. Yeah. Scorching hot when we got there, and um, oh, that's the very first thing we saw when we walked in was the uh, ice cream bar list. You know, you had it all on the side. Yeah. And, and everybody was eyeballing which one they were gonna get. They and, go all out for their ice cream too. Yeah, they don't hold back. I mean. I don't even know half the stuff that's put in some of that ice cream, but it looks so pretty in it, the display. I think, yeah. I mean, I think we have that type of ice cream in the States. Like, I don't know if it's the gelato style, Yeah. but they just, all the toppings that are already on it, and then you can add more, and it was, it's just, it's wild. It's pretty. It's like art. But it's funny because the, like, she's like, you love mint chocolate chip. Yes. But she doesn't like it. The Spanish don't. It's very minty. It's different. It's like very minty here. Yes. Um, so it's, it's like all... a peppermint. <clears throat> yeah, it's like over the top. Yeah. For... Like if you want your breath to be good, have their mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I just want accurate. it to be yummy. <laughs> On those hot days, man, you really need to, you really you need to stop. And... Well, <laughs> I, I got a kick at. I don't drink beer. Heather doesn't really drink beer. Uh, no, this um, is... Yeah, and, but our boy, for some reason or another, it was just on this kick. Anytime you give him a glass bottle, he's like, it's beer. I got a beer. <laughs> so. <laughs> Where did you get this from? <laughs> we go to the ice cream store, and uh, here he is. You give him an apple juice in a glass jar, and it's beer. They have these neat little bottles. Beer bottles. They're neat little kid beer bottles. Kid beer bottles. They look like the big ones, but they're little. <laughs> Let's be clear, it's non-alcoholic. <laughs> I think he that was the slowest I've ever seen him drink an apple juice, too. It was. He just I wanted to keep that, that Yeah, he did. No. I'm surprised he didn't try to bring the bottle home. I, I, I am, too, actually. As much as he hoards things. <laughs> um, I, I, would, I would also caveat that while we did, a, um, did our fair share of walking, I think one of the best parts... Um, for this trip and what we've done with other trips is that we just find a spot to stop and sit yeah. and we just look out a window you watch the people you go back and forth and you kind of just take in the town and the, mm -hmm. and the sights and then listen to it and it's so neat to watch like the pattern of traffic or the yeah. people and what they're looking for and I'll tell you uh, hands down uh, the Spanish um, they they love family and friends like nobody else mm -hmm. they 100% uh, are um, out there and they're there to give hugs. Um, enjoy each other's company. Yeah, enjoy each other's company. Relax, spend time together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It, it makes me as an American feel really jealous for uh, to have that type of interaction with everybody. Good morning. How are you? Even if you don't know the person, it's very much buenos dia. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, this was a very fast trip for us. It was just a quick uh, overnighter, just there and back weekend trip. We really enjoyed it. Highly recommend if you guys are over here. It's one of those hidden jewels I think we're going to keep finding all around here in the Andalusia province of Spain. Stay tuned next week to find out where we go next. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And thank you guys for watching. See, there you go. And we hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. She didn't ask you to subscribe. That's because I don't have to. You've already subscribed, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, but really, guys. And subscribe. Bye. Bye.